Hi everyone, Angela here. You may have seen and made my original hanging tea towel design. I'm now happy to share my three new designs that are even easier. Just like the one before, they're an easy beginner project with no buttons or buttonholes, no snaps or velcro, and no ribbons and straps to keep tying. Links for the tools I use and my PDF patterns can be found in the description below. To make the pattern for the first design, cut a piece of paper 10 inches by 10 inches. Fold in half and make a crease, then bring your top and bottom edges to that center and fold again. This will be the front of the strap. Open it up and on your pattern, this is the section that's the front. Mark out that section and then draw an arrow along the edge pointing downwards. This will help guide you when cutting directional fabric. Then on each side, draw a line two inches in from the edge. This will be the very front of the strap if you plan on doing embroidery or you want a specific part of a print. By cutting this section out, you can easily see where to cut your fabric. You can also transfer your pattern onto translucent template plastic to easily position and cut out. Flip your fabric over to the wrong side, fold and crease like we did with the pattern, giving it a press with your iron and also making sure the folded edges line up. Next, do a quarter inch top stitch all around without any back tacking. For design two, cut a fabric piece out five inches by 20 inches. You'll also need 10 inches of one and a half inch wide elastic. You can also use cotton tape or fabric cut to this size. Fold your fabric in half, matching the long edges with right sides together, then use a half inch seam allowance to stitch, back tacking at the start and finish. Position the fabric so the seam is in the middle, then press open with your iron without pressing the sides. Next we need to turn this right side out. You can just do this with your fingers or with a safety pin, but here's a little tip if you haven't seen my other videos. You can use a paper towel holder with rounded ends to turn tubes. Just flip the fabric over the end about an inch and pull down. Again with the seam in the middle, just give it a press with your hand. Next use a bodkin or safety pin to thread the elastic through the tube. Center the elastic and match your edges and then edge stitch in place. Pull the rest of the elastic through, remove the bodkin and stitch in place. Stretch to even out the gathers and then push the gathers on each end so that about two inches of fabric is flat on each side. For design three, cut two pieces of fabric one 5 inches by 12 inches and the other 5 inches by 14 inches. For both pieces of fabric, fold in half and then on one end we need a 45 degree angle. You can easily do that by lifting the corner and matching the side edges to the fold and then just creasing that 45 degree angle. You can also use a quilting ruler and cut. Use a half inch seam allowance, start with the back tack stitch towards the corner, pivot, and then continue stitching all the way to the end and back tack to finish. Then trim your corners on an angle, making sure you're not cutting too close to the stitching. Turn right side out. This time I'm gonna use the flat end of my knitting needle to help push it through, and then I'll use the pointy end to push out the corners. Then repeat for the other strap. Next, adjust the seam so that it's right on the edge and give it a press. Use any size tea towel and fold it in half lengthwise with wrong sides together. Because I don't pre-wash the towels, I'm going to leave the care label on, but I will remove this little hanging strap. I don't pre-wash the towels because I mainly give these away as gifts and I like the towel to look brand new. But go ahead and wash it if you're worried about shrinkage, just give it a press before making these. Fold your towel in half again and then just crease it right in the center. Open it up and then mark that center with chalk or a vanishing ink pen. 
from the center, measure across four inches and then up three and a half inches and make a mark. Then repeat on the other side, across four inches and up three and a half and make a mark. Then draw a line joining those two marks. If you need to, pin through those marks. Next stitch right on that line, back tacking at the start and finish. With the folded edge facing you, lift the top layer and then fold it right along that stitch line and give it a press. Now grab the towel from the middle and then flip it over so that the outside edges are at the top. Match them all up and then flatten out that center seam and give it another press. Bring the top layer down and next we're going to make the pleats. Do this by opening up the center section and arrange it so that the crease is right in the middle. Check that the folds underneath are even and touching and then just pull at the edges of the towel to make sure everything's laying nice and flat and give it a press. Mark a line one and a quarter inches from each fold. Flip the towel over to the wrong side and then fold along those lines. You should be able to just see the lines. Depending on the width of your towel, the edges may or may not overlap, it really doesn't matter. Press along those folds. Lift up the left side of the towel and fold it in half and then just neaten up the center on the inside. It should measure 6 inches across from edge to edge and the center section should measure 3.5 inches. From this fold, measure in 2 inches and draw a line across. Then if you need to, make a mark so that you know this will be the back of the towel. Now slip your hand in between and just pin through this half of the towel to keep all the folds in place. Turn it over to the other side and now this time from the fold, measure in 3 inches and draw a line. This is the front of the towel. Again, place your hand underneath and pin all these folds in place. So if we open it up, the inside should look something like this. If you didn't catch one of the edges, you can go back and add another pin. You'll notice on the right side between the pins that the outer edges sit nice and flat, but there's some extra fabric sticking up in the center part. This is so that when the towel hangs over the bar, it'll sit nice and flat. Next, we need to stitch right on those lines, back tacking at the start and finish. If you have pins that are perfectly perpendicular or at right angles to your line, it's fine to stitch right over them. Remove all the pins and then turn the towel around so that the back where the mark is, is facing you. This is how you prepare the towel for all of the styles. I've prepared a different color for each one. Again with the towel open and the back mark facing you, that line of stitching is where we position the top of the band. If you need to, mark half an inch in from the edge of the band. This is how much we'll be inserting underneath that folded pleat. Make sure the front of the band is facing up with the seam at the bottom. Make sure it's in nice and straight and that the top of the band is pushed right against the stitching. Next we'll edge stitch just beside the fold of the pleat, back tacking at the start and finish. Take the other end of the band, fold it over and tuck in the other end on the other side of the pleat. Roll the rest of the band out of your way and edge stitch. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all notifications and also leave a comment below. So that's a nice easy way to attach the band. Fold the top of the towel and turn it over to the front and just tuck that top part into the band and adjust everything so it's nice and flat. To make the towel with the gathered strap, just make sure the front of the strap is facing you and the seam is on the back before inserting it into the pleat. Then stitch all together exactly the same way. 
For the third bow design, again with the back facing you, take the shorter strap with the point at the top and insert it into the pleat. Then take the longer strap with the point at the bottom and insert in the other side. Then just edge stitch both straps in place. To tie it, fold in half and turn over to the front. Cross over the short strap and then the longer strap on top. Hold on to both straps in the center and tuck the longer strap underneath and gently pull. Form a loop with that center strap and keeping it flat, thread the end through the center. Then pull the knot tight and keep adjusting this bow until it sits nicely across the towel. You can always hand sew a couple of stitches on the back to keep the knot in place. To hang the tea towel, simply place the back of it over the handle and then thread the front of the towel through the loop. Adjust it so that the band covers the stitch line going across. To remove, just pull down on the band. Let me know down in the comments if you like these new designs. Make sure to check out some of my other tutorials. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.